include everything. All right, guys, so today we're going to be doing the Build a Tribute page. You can see uh, Quincy's, I have to believe Quincy was the one who made this. Basically, we're just going to have a heading, a quote, an image. Uh, we're going to add a little fanciness to our image. A, uh, t some info and a link that will pop up a new page. So, this is kind of cool. Um, what we're going to be doing is, I did it on one of my more favorite anime characters, Light Yagami. So you'll see, we're going to remake this page right now. Uh, identical and the only thing that I added that really wasn't in there and then you can see the light, the page opens up we have this image is I I created an image and did like kind of a hover over effect just because I thought it would be kind of cool because um, it's a pretty basic project so I thought man let's take an extra second and see what we can do with it so uh, um, I apologize my Photoshop skills aren't the best but that's what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be creating a heading we're gonna center everything we're gonna do a little bit of CSS and then we're gonna show how to hover over this image so let's go ahead and get started with a brand new theme a new pin if you will and we'll go ahead and title this YT tribute uh, this is so I I, I know uh, which one it is. It basically just tells me YouTube Tribute. We're not going to use any JS. We're simply going to use CSS and for CSS we're going to go ahead and import Bootstrap and the way that we're going to do this is we're going to first do the HTML part and the second part of the video we will then go ahead and do the styling to it. So first thing that we can do is just create a basic heading. So we have light, oh, excuse me, uh, Gonna make that H1. Name is Light Yagami. And then we'll go ahead and do H1 like so. Alright, so there's our heading. We then want to do a smaller, we'll say H5, and then we'll go ahead and put in the quote If we catch Kira, he is evil. If he wins and rules the world, then he is justice. All right, so we have our H1 and our H5. The next thing that we want to do is insert an image. So you do that with image SRC. Because of HTML5, we don't have to put that slash anymore. And let me go ahead and pull this up first. So here we go. So here's our image. Notice it's not changing yet. We'll we'll go ahead and get to that in just a second. And then last but not least, we're gonna. Uh, I have about five paragraphs of text, so um, you'll notice that we have uh, several P's. So we'll go ahead and throw some P's in here. So uh, I'm gonna just go paragraph by paragraph and throw it in. So uh, depending on their example, they use some list objects. I kind of just like the paragraphs. It's just more my style. Let me go ahead and throw this first one in here like so. And you'll notice there's an A tag here because I used Light Yagami as the place to open up the uh, Light Yagami um, Wikipedia page. So let me go ahead and pull that out real quick. Just in case you want to learn anything from this. So uh, I did get this straight out of uh, their Wikipedia page to begin with. So let me go ahead and do the other paragraphs or the other list items depending on what you're doing. I, I definitely encourage people to kind of look at my videos as a guideline, especially with something like this where we are, you're essentially being asked to be a little bit creative. So uh, that's why I kind of tend to go to my hobbies as well. So we have another paragraph here. Let's go ahead and get another paragraph. I believe I have five, two, one more. All right, last but not least. All right, so let's go ahead and change view so we can get a full page view and see what's going on here. 
So this is it. This is essentially all the HTML that we will have to write. Now, with the image, we are going to make it so that when we hover over it, another image is displayed. That's basically all we're going to do there. And so we'll, we'll do that along with the CSS in the next video. See you guys then. Thanks for watching.